name is Laura Schmidt. I grew up in the beautiful city of Stewart, Florida. Stewart is the sailfish capital of the world, so I've grown up with the appreciation and understanding of the fishing lifestyle. Our family very much enjoys fishing and diving. My father is a sports fisher and has gone to many tournaments, including the World Tournament in Costa Rica. When I could, I would dive off where it was shallow enough to find conchs while the fishing boats were in neutral. My new favorite activity through my father was diving for conchs. I'm sure you're wondering by now, what is a conch? A conch is basically a giant mollusk or a snail. But do not get too grossed out yet. You can eat this kind of snail. The shell is made up by the snail when it secretes a protective shield from its body into a hard case known as a conch. Many do not understand why this animal is such good eating, especially if they see the snail outside its shell. My past involves a lot of the Bahamas. As my father continues his deep sea fishing, I would tag along to go diving for conchs. It soon became one of my favorite activities. They can be found in the general location of the Bahamas to the Caicos Islands. When diving down, the first thing you want to look for is a giant shell. It will be settled at the very bottom and is almost always in the grassy area. When picking them up, you want to look for a large fan shell, and not a small one. What I mean by large fan is that the edge will look more like a fan, and not a small one. This means that the conch inside is more mature and better to eat. It is almost impossible to get a conch out of its shell with just your hands unless you are Superman. The trick is to poke a hole in the back of the shell with a hammer. Then stick the tip of the hammer into the shell to make a co the conch uncomfortable. This irritates the conch and it slides right out. Conch is good for fritters, gumbo, salads, and many other tasty treats. Americans eat over 1,000 plus metric tons of conch every year, and 80% of visitors are American tourists. So good Caribbean food is a must in order to maintain a good economy in the Bahamas. My dad has special locations marked on his GPS where the conchs would be found. If we watched for where the local Bohemians would dive, we could find the prime spots. But the Bohemian culture thrives on the money the conchs make, and almost pushes us to the point where they take us off our spots. Some find it, some find it easy, but others who are serious about the hunt find it hard to clean out the best conch before others do. So the community relies very much on tourism. Some of the best restaurants in the area have locals go out and catch fresh conch off the beach. Restaurants also love to decorate their establishments with conchs lining the pass to the door. Conchs have been a big chapter of my life that I have enjoyed. I cannot wait to go back again and pick up my favorite pastime.